<laughs> oh, good evening. It's lovely to be here. Do you know, the last time I worked on BBC television, my act was ruined by a, a, a news flash. The Titanic had gone down. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. I love television, but I think, I think some things could be changed. Like, instead of Philip Jenkins in on film night, they could have Les Dawson. My favourite film was where the star had an incurable urge to eat carrots all the time. And if he couldn't get carrots, he ate lettuce and cabbage. Oh, how that man suffered. I remember that scene where he looked across the doctor's desk, nervously fumbling in his pocket for a carrot, the suggestion of a tear in his eye. And he said those immortal, heart-rendering words. Me, what's up, Jack? <laughs> Hello, some beeps. Yeah. What? I went to the doctor's the other day. I was getting undressed. The doctor said, How long have you been wearing the brassiere? Yeah. Hey. I said, Ever since the wife found it in the car. One thing I do like about BBC television is the, and, and the ones that are made at the centre for our detectives. They're so natural. I mean, like Frank Windsor. Good evening. My name's Watt. Detective Chief Superintendent Watt. I was called to a case at the post office tower last week. It seems that a Jewish fellow and an Irish fellow had jumped off the top. The Jewish fellow crashed to the ground. The Irish fellow got lost. <laughs> but you know, you can believe in our detectives, at softly, softly. Not like those American fellas. I mean, imagine that Kojak being in London and seeing a buffer boy at three o'clock in the morning, walking over to him with a bald head, sunglasses and sucking a lollipop and saying, Hey, pussy cat, ring it you do. <laughs> What's the cuckoo? I arrest you. The bother boy, I think he was being accosted and must probably put the boot in. <laughs> then you got that other fellow, the big fat one that has that big flash car. Cannon. My name's Ken. I was investigating a murder at the maternity hospital last week, but I had a terrible time. <laughs> they didn't believe I was a detective. <laughs> they thought I was a patient. <laughs> But the thing about being an impressionist, if you sing a song and nobody likes it, you can always put the blame on somebody else. So right now, I'm going to put the blame on Johnny Cash, Frank Sinatra and Rex Harrison. Come on in here, come on in here, Alexander's ragtime band. Come on in here, come on in here, it's the best band in the land. They can play a beautiful call like you never heard before. It's so natural that you want to go to war. That's just the bestest band, what am my honey lamb? Come on along, come on along. I want to take you by the hand, ring-a-ding. To the man, the mighty man, who is the leader of the band. And if you want to hear that Swanee River 